Hey, sorry we're late, but meet my friend Chris. Hey, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, you too. Uh, you guys chill here. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. I will be right back. All right, sounds good. So how's your trip going so far? Oh, it's been good. Much needed after all the stuff I've been dealing with at home. Oh, yeah? Yeah, a few months back, my mom passed away. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And she left some money behind for me and my sister, but my stepdad, who is a total dick, has complete control over it, and he won't release it to us. Oh, I actually knew someone who had a very similar... So, we're talking to some lawyers right now. Oh, you're still going. To see if we can sue him for the money, but we're having trouble affording the lawyers, and... <laughs> sorry, I don't want to get emotional over this. Like, what the fuck? It's just been tough. Plus, her stepdad even threatened us with violence if we try to take him to court. What do I say right now? And we're just trying to get the money that we're entitled to, right? I mean, it's not like we're suing him for all the sexual abuse he put me and my sister through when we were younger, but that's a whole different story. Stop. <laughs> well, here we are, in this super uncomfortable situation. Nobody asked for it, at most half of us wanted it, yet you made it possible, single-handedly, may I add. So I have... Four things I would like to say based on the information that has been put in front of me, which I think is relevant to our situation. Okay, because I do think talking about it does really help. Okay, great. Number one, we're at fucking mini golf, okay? Do you get that? The most useful piece of information you can provide me is whether you want to be the red ball or the blue ball. That's it, all right? The most serious I was willing to get is discussing who's gonna win, which by the way, is gonna be me. My score is gonna own yours. I'm gonna make you my little bitch. So at least by hole 18, me and your stepdad will have something in common. Wow. Number two is a question. Does that sign say therapist to you? Don't answer too quickly, okay? I know it doesn't look like it says bitch about your fucked up problems to strangers, but you are living your life as if you are in the vicinity of a sign that does, okay? This is not therapy. This is not the set of your new hit reality TV show, Fondled by Family or Diddled by Daddy, whatever the fuck you're gonna call it, okay? This is definitely not therapy. Number three, we have literally known each other for 75 seconds. You have never seen the back of my head, and I already know that your stepdad likes to touch family, okay? If you're talking to someone about your family touching tree and you have never seen the back of their head, you deserve nothing short of the death penalty. Well, I can tell you've never had to deal with any serious trauma, because if you had, you would understand where I'm coming from, and you would understand how people grieve in different ways. People also suck dick in different ways, okay? It doesn't make it any less uncomfortable when the girl uses too much teeth. Well, that's a new one. And lastly, number four, do you ever stop to think that maybe bad things happen to you because God finds it kind of funny how uncomfortable you make other people after those bad things happen? I don't think God would do that. I totally would. Oh, this is great.